right there in the center. I never lose. Either I win or I learn. I never lose. Either I win or I learn. Um, I saw that when I was out to school one time. It was outside of Miss Kettle's room. And uh, I think that's a great, great motto to have when it comes to sports or competition. You know, we all want to win. But you know what? Whenever there's a competition, somebody wins and somebody loses. And it could be that um, more than half the time we're on one side or the other, depending on what it, the competition is and how good we are personally or what our team is able to, to do for us. And so when it comes to winning and losing, um, we have experienced both in life. You know, there's some things that we win at. There's some things that we lose at. And we just take them both, and we, we try to be good sports. We try to be good losers, but we also try to be good winners as well, don't we? That's one of the things that we try to learn through competition. Um, Jesus said something about losing um, that was kind of counter uh, counterintuitive, kind of countercultural. He said, if you want to save your life, you have to do what? You have to lose it. You have to lose it. You have to be willing to, to say, I'm not going to win at this game. In other words, it's not about me. It's not about winning. It's not about me being the center of attention and being the champion when it comes to everything in life. It's about being able to cast off the winning self and letting God win. It's about letting others win. It's about being able to let life be a winning season, um, not based on how far it gets me, but how far it gets the glory of God. You know, the glory of victory, don't we? You know, when you're in that winner's circle, when you got the trophy, when you cross the finish line, that, that sense that comes that, yes, I'm on top, you know, that is such an amazing feeling. Um, I haven't experienced it very much in my own life, but I know that just being on top and winning something, whether it's an award or a recognition or winning a competition is a great, great feeling. But when you win, it feels so good, doesn't it? And that's glory. But how about taking the glory and letting God get that? Not because he's some egomaniac that just has to win all the time, but because he deserves to win. If anything good comes from us, then it's God. If there's anything good that happens through us celebrating other people and making them win, it's, it's for God. I mean, it's really him that it begins with and ends with, and he's the winner in it all. Um, so if you win, that's great, but give it to God's glory. And if you lose, you know what? You're going to learn something through it. And we're going to learn through so many attempts what it means to lose ourself so that God can win. You know, when we win, God wins. And so keep searching for the way to be able to give him glory in your life. Do your best. Be a winner. Be a good winner. Be a good loser, because at times we have to do that as well. But be willing to lose your life for the sake of love, for the sake of God's glory, for the sake of other people getting to know him better. It's a good word for today and a good thing to remember. So let's be winners for the Lord.